Hey guys, welcome back to another one of my videos. This time I'm doing a review on these two McFarlane, uh, what is it? The uh, Gold Label uh, DC Multiverse for McFarlane, uh, Siniesto Corpse, Batman, and Blue Beetle, the uh, classic figure. Um, I'm not gonna get the, uh, the movie figures from Blue Beetle. I don't really know that character that much. No, I don't know him at all. Uh, but I'll, you know, I'm <laughs> willing to learn. I know his movie's gonna be out in a couple of weeks, I think, or something like that. Um, I'm gonna watch it, but um, so that's the reason. I got the classics figure, but I that's all I'm gonna be getting. Uh, I don't know. I think he's one of the members of the Teen Titans, maybe. I I don't know. I'm not sure. Anyway, um, uh, McFarlane once again is doing their thing. I really like what they're doing. I really like a lot of the figures that they're doing. I really want to get that um, Joker theme, Dark Knight uh, movie, the movie Dark Knight uh, figures that you know the build up that uh, Jokerized Bane from the movie. I really want to get that. Uh, <laughs> I, 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 it, it looks pretty funny, but I, I really, I really like it. That, that uh, Joker theme that he's got to it. You know, if you've seen my video of the Jokerized Batman from uh, The Dark Knight Returns, I love that figure. And and I'm thinking, I'm, I'm really thinking very hard to see if I, if I want to get, you know, those figures. Uh, because it's, it's uh, it would be a nice display for... Uh, uh, you know a joker shelf if you if you want to build up a joker shelf that would be a nice figure all the figures from the dark knight i i would think but um but for right now i got these figures and i got a few other ones a few other uh dc figures that i'm going to be reviewing in the uh next couple of uh days but um yeah i got um uh, uh, i got this figure uh the, well let's, let's take a look at uh, this guy first um, Sinister Corpse Batman. I have a lot of Batmans now, but uh, these Yellow Lanterns, the la the Lantern Corps, I, I really like. You know, the Red Lanterns, Blue Lanterns, uh, Black Lanterns. I really like that. You know, and I want to get more of these of these guys. I do have a lot of the the ones that Mattel did back in when uh, DC Universe. Um, and I got a few of them. I, I, I think I got about maybe maybe four or five, maybe six. I don't know. I'm gonna do another video on my DC stuff soon, uh, and a, a, a updated version of uh, of the last video that I had with my DC stuff. Uh, but like I said, I want to get that those four figures that form that um, Jokerized Bane. I, I really do. But anyway, this figure, as you can see, is very nice, articulated. The cape. Uh, it's uh, it's got a little texture to it, and for some reason the back reminds me of uh, of the Batman from uh, the Arkham Arkham video games. Um, as you can see, it's very nice, articulated. That's the head sculpt right there. Very awesome figure. Um, I do have the uh, DC uh, universe. Um, yeah, the DC Universe from Mattel, but this is an upgrade, man. It looks really nice. I don't mind getting these again. Blue Beetle, I also got him because I missed out on him um, when uh, DC Universe was out. And I also got him because, you know, it's, it's the movie's coming out. But anyway, uh, nice detail on the uh, on the belt. And it's, as you, if you really... Uh, hopefully you, you'll be able to make it out, but it's got some texture. Uh, he's there. I really like what McFarlane is doing. Let's look at the boots. Once again, articulation is pretty cool. And this figure comes with a couple of accessories. It comes, of course, with a stand. It comes with a trading card, which is the same as the back of the box. And it comes with this little thing that I just can't get him to hold it. But I'll find a way. I'll find a way <laughs> to, to fit it. Um, it's got the uh, 
yellow lantern, uh, well, the Siniestro Corpse lantern um, um, logo right there in the um, in his bicep. And it's got the uh, the yellow um, ring. So yeah, not much else to say about this figure. Once again, articulation is pretty good. Double jointed elbows, double jointed knees, uh, hinge uh, um, ankles. Also articulation in the torso, head articulation. Hinge shoulders and also articulation on the you know the wrists. So a lot of movement on this figure. And uh Blue Beetle looks also you know really cool. Um as you can see I got him in into like a, a little bit of a dynamic pose here, very well articulated, just like Batman. Um, and I switch off the hand. Uh, it comes with uh, with this gun that is, you know, it's got a <laughs> one of the, those little bugs. It also comes with this bug right here. And it, it comes with a few different hands. As you can see, right there. This was the hand that was originally in. Um, his right arm and his right um wrist right hand and i put that hand on you know to make it look a little bit you know a little bit better a little more interesting uh you know this is a nice uh paint deco in the back also the figure, the movie figure for Blue Beetle, it looks really nice. It's, it's just that I'm not, you know, I'm not going to be collecting. I got to choose what to collect and what not to collect. Uh, it, it looks nice. If you want to get into that, band, then, then yeah. But I'm, I'm more into, I'm trying to get, you know, just the classic DC figures. So I'm really waiting for a Wonder Woman, the classics, because I missed out on the, cla on the, on the classics, um, Wonder Woman from the DC Universe way back in the day. Uh, hopefully they re-release her so I can put all my Justice League together. That's uh, how the head looks. Trying to focus on the head, but it... Oh, there you go. Wow. Yeah, well, there it is. Yeah, it does his job. You can see the ears right here. Uh, I don't know his special powers, but uh, I'll probably when I when you know when I when I see the movie, I'll probably learn a little bit about it about this character. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Artic yeah, as, as you can see, articulation is everywhere in this figure, just like Batman. Double jointed everything, uh, elbows, double jointed knees. He's got toe articulation. Oh, the same as Batman. He got toe articulation rocker on the um on the ankles and they can go back and forth the arms can go in and out and all the way around but uh, double jointed elbows wrists articulation also and the head is in the ball joint also so yeah nice articulation okay so it does come with a stand it also comes, you know, like I said, with the hands, with these um, little bug right here. And it also comes with a card that is different than the picture on the box. So that's something different, right? Most of the figures that I, yeah, not all of them, but most of the figures that I collected, they got the same, you know, on the card, they got the same, the same picture or, or in the back of the box is the same picture in, uh, on the trading card. But this one is a little different. I mean, it, it is different, as you can see. But it does the job, you know. I, you know, it's an extra thing that we we get. You know, DC cards, DC trading cards, which I, you know, I'm thankful for that. It's a little extra accessory. Twenty two ninety nine for these guys that I paid uh, from the store. 
which is not bad, you know. You get a few, you know, figure, you know. You you get a few accessories on both of the figures plus a trading card. So yeah, you know, not bad. So yeah, pretty awesome figures. It's like I said, these are the gold label. I got both of these from Target, so check your targets if you really into the classics, the classic uh, or the comic book versions of of the DC characters. Not to say that the uh, the movie figures are bad. I mean, the, the movie figures are awesome. They, I I really like them. I've seen a few videos on the, on the movie Blue Beetle and his enemy, that red robot or whatever. But and, and they look great. But um, <laughs> I gotta focus just on one thing and. Now I'm focusing on, on these guys. I might get every, you know, maybe I'll, I'll get a a movie figure every every so often. But right now I'm concentrating on on the classic uh, figures, uh, the comic book versions of, of the of the of the DC characters. Anyway, that's pretty much it for this video. Um, so yeah, the McFarlane, nice figures. Twenty two ninety nine, not bad. Um, so yeah, if you see them and you see them at the right price, get them really cool figures. Anyway, that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.